Since you can't always tell if a fuse has blown simply by looking at it, you'll need to perform a continuity test. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the fuse. If the fuse has continuity, it should be functioning properly. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the fuse has blown. Fuses come in many shapes and sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity in the same way. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the fuse you're testing has been removed or isolated from the appliance. Now, use a probe to touch one of the fuse's terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows zero ohms of resistance, the fuse has continuity. If the meter's needle does not move or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity, which means the fuse has blown and will need to be replaced. Be aware that the failure of a fuse often indicates that there is a shorted electrical component in the dishwasher, such as a thermostat or heating element.